The Cage Ready? Warriors featherweight Ready? division. Let's go. Manny Akpan in the black trunks taking on Jack Maguire in the black shorts with the white and green trim. Oh, that's a good uh, side push kick from Akpan, who's looking very loose here with his hands down by his side. Maguire on contrast taking the stage, the center of the stage very early and trying to chase his man down here. Oh, nice right hand from Maguire as Akpan barrels forward. He gets put on the cage though. Look at the strength of trying to lever that chin up and away. Maguire doing everything he can to try and change the angles, keep this body lock intact. Looking to get his man over. Akpan still defending here. Akpan without a foot on the floor here. <laughs> oh, fantastic base using that hand in the cage. Nothing to say he can't. Jumps guard here, though. Well, gives it up. Yeah, he's a very, very unorthodox young man. It's tough to prepare for when someone's going to throw uh, that sort of stuff at you, but Maguire really trying to use this body lock. Oh, and he's come out the wrong side of that scramble. Gonna have to work some guard here. Incredible balance from Manny Akpan there. Yeah, balance one of oh, good knee on the way up. Yeah, he'll be very careful with the timing there. It's a wild left hand though from Akpan. Oh, that's a much better body lock takedown for, for Maguire. Akpan just over committing a little bit, opening up on the body. Oh, Maguire trying to go guillotine briefly. It's a quick scramble back to the feet. Good head position from Akpan there. Now he's reinforcing with the, the forearms. But Maguire is so stubborn staying in on that body lock. Well, there's a lot of people backing Maguire in this building, so the pressure's going to be there for young Jack Maguire to pick up a big win. Yeah, picks up that leg on the single. Now he's going back to body lock, but easy pummel inside for Akpan. And both of these guys looking way, way beyond what their records would suggest in terms of their ability, in terms of how comfortable they are. And again, that's due to those solid, solid amateur backgrounds that both these men are bringing into this contest. Yeah, gone are the days when, uh, you know, a pro, <laughs> pro debut is, uh, is a, a poorly thought out process. You know, these guys, they've actually had a lot of time off since those last amateur bouts as well, both of them a year. And at this stage of the career, you still see them mature so much through that time off in the training process. Akpan getting a bit wild with these shots. Yeah, they just tighten it up a little bit. Big, wide, looping shots. He's going to have to be careful. He doesn't get caught on the counter there. Looks for the takedown, gets it. He was lucky he came out the right side of that just about. He's going to time this knee. Great work from Maguire to get back up, though. He's going to have to block the guillotine here. Akpan looking to get a oh, grip on the neck, through. and he's got it! Oh, good work from Maguire to change the angle on that. That sleeper gears here look, looked like it was locked up. He's going to find his way to the back here. It's a beautiful knee. Yeah, big knee from Maguire there. It's a good round for Maguire. OK, he hasn't managed to cement that position on the floor, but he's controlled for the most part up against the cage. He scored a couple of good takedowns. And again, the balance from Akpan there prevents him getting taken down. Yeah, as I was going to allude to early, you know, that's one of those factors of general athleticism that uh, comes in very, very handy in these scrambles, just balance and proprioception. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the first. And a very interesting first round it's been. Both guys have shown a lot thus far. Akpan's looking to go guillotine again. He's gone all the way through and he's got a good crank on this. Well, gives it up once he bullies his man down. And that's, a, well, that's an unfortunate way he's given up the back there. Yeah, Maguire able to just come out the back door there and get the dominant position. See, that was just too easy for him. If there were more time on the clock, he might get made to pay a little bit harder. 
you know, they're the kind of mistakes that are going to have to be tightened up to move forward in his pro career. Yeah. A very interesting first round there, Josh. Yeah, I think it's a solid round for, for Jack Maguire. Both guys, you know, having their moments. Uh, you know, and Akpan did get on top uh, once or twice in the scrambles, but generally I think Jack Maguire controlled a bit more, had a bit more intention behind his game plan, and just a bit more significance to what he did. A nice knee there up against the cage from Akpan. I really did like the persistence from Maguire when he was in. You know, there's some, some big kind of uh, neck cranks and forearms he had to deal his way through. Looked like he had a, a very, very solid grip on the neck on a number of occasions in that first round, Josh, but unable to finish. And we saw the turnabout there from Jack Maguire. Yeah, that first guillotine grip looked, looked deep. Ultimately, it was actually the second one that was even deeper, forcing Maguire to the ground momentarily. Second round on deck here. Our feature prelim at Cage Warriors 110 in Cork Island. And we are just about 35 minutes away from the start of our main card. We've got two more rounds of action between Maguire and Akpan if they need them. Yeah, Maguire starting the same way again, kind of marching Akpan down, but Akpan is throwing everything into these. Akpan throwing the heaters out and everything he's got behind those punches. As I say, they're just a little bit too wild. You can see he throws himself off balance. He's, he's trying to put so much behind them. It's allowed Maguire to find his way in on the body lock again. Well, on the hips at least. You know, it's a big roll of the dice that Akpan's making here because a couple of those shots land and it's good night early, but the more that don't, the more tired he's going to get and the more he's going to be made to pay by Jack Maguire. Big plum clinch here, and it's a good knee up the middle. First time we've seen him employ that. Looks for the switch, but it's tough to, tough to hit a switch when someone's got the head on the inside of the hip there. You see McAleenan's able to just pin him down here, and he's going to try and walk his legs up a little bit. He's got both tied up, and as long as he keeps them tied up, Akpan's going to go nowhere. But you see he's extracted that left leg now, he's going to bring that back. Base stuff the head as well, try and break the posture down. McLean going to the back, see if he looks for a hook. Maguire wearing on his man here. Crushing Akpan up against the cage. Akpan again looking for a grip on the neck here, Josh. Yeah, and I, honestly, that looks deep. I think Maguire's got to be wary of it. Guillotine here, and that's a big squeeze. He's going to go through mounted guillotine, perhaps. He's just got to arch his hips in here. Just the one arm guillotine. Yeah, connect, connect it. Well, it's got, he's got a little bit of space on the right side of the neck. You can literally see the artery bulging clear. And honestly, if he just connected his hands and used his head as the point of base on the mat, he probably could have put some serious arch into that. Maguire immediately trying to get the hips to work. Akpan trying to pin him back down to the mat here. He's got to work this half guard. He's up all the way on one elbow. He's going to try and build back up and collect into a single leg, possibly. Uh, goes, goes with the underhook. And the crowd here in Cork absolutely roaring whenever Jack Maguire comes out of, on the better end of an exchange or a scramble. Yeah, it's interesting, though. How, how is that guillotine attempt from Akpan going to play into Maguire's thought process with some takedowns? And that landed. Oh, big shots from Akpan. Gets taken down, though. You see again, though, it's the overcommitment from Akpan on those shots. Left his hips wide open, and that's an easy takedown for Maguire that Akpan did not have to give up there. Akpan making that mistake just once too many times there. And Maguire now able to capitalise, and he's got two minutes left to play with Josh, so plenty of time on the ground here. Yeah, let's see if he can advance position. They're away from the cage here, at least for the moment, which is what Akpan's been using to, to help bear his weight and, and help him to stand back up. He's using that knee shield with the left leg at the moment on the hip. That's helping him maintain some form of range. But you can see he's not doing anything with his left arm here, which is the one he should be really trying to fight and get back inside. Maguire competing as an amateur since 2015. Nearly five years in the sport. Plenty of experience along the way. 
Yeah. Close guard for Akpan here, and you know, to win, win rounds from close guard, you've got to be attacking, you've got to be striking the head, you've got to be looking to threaten the arms and the neck, and you can see he's trying to get that foot on the hip and help lever the other leg up. We're going to talk about a, a guy great at attacking from uh, that, that guard position. It's his head coach, Matt Inman, so there's, uh, I'm sure, been plenty of drilling from that spot at SBG Manchester. Yeah, he's got that right overhook. He's going to use that to keep the posture of Maguire pinned down. Maguire's hands on the mat, not necessarily where you would want them. You were going to be super critical about it. He's doing a good job keeping the head in the middle of the chest, though, and this is where he's going to have a problem if... Akpan can use that cage again to stand back up. He's only got to withdraw that left leg. He locks the guard back up. See, the problem here is Maguire's having to spend so much energy just trying to keep Akpan on the ground. He's not getting any offense of his own off. And this whole time, he's vulnerable to Akpan walking the hips up here, using that cage to help him pivot, spin off the small of the back, and start threatening. But uh, not too long left now. Final 10 seconds of the second round. And something of a stalemate on the ground between these two young men. Okay. Yeah, which is unfortunate for Maguire, because he spent so much time working so hard to get that fight down, to not be able to do anything with it once he gets there. Uh, you know, that's, that's a tough one for him to swallow. Maguire taking uh, the stool between rounds there, Akpan on his feet, looking slightly fresher of the two. It has to be said, Josh. Yeah, I mean, as much as he's, he's throwing a lot into those shots, this was really the most significant action of the whole round. This was a big guillotine here. You see, got that arm all the way through, and they rolled all the way through to mount. Good little flurry here. I think Akpan on balance. You know, he spent some time on his back, but he did the damage. It's, it, it's, again, it's a tough round for the judges, but, um, you know, if I was either of these gentlemen, I would not want to be taking any chances moving into this third final round. And uh, Abdul Chowdhury in the corner there of Manny Akpam, taking a look over into the opposition corner and telling Manny he's tired. Ready? Ready? Let's go! Surely the corner of Akpam wanting their man to put his foot on the gas here. Oh, big shot there from Akpam. Landed flush with the right hand. Nice head movement from Maguire, though. Yeah, I'd just like to see it. Oh, good crescent kick up the inside. Didn't see that coming. Backhand back to his feet here. And again, looking to secure a grip of the neck, Josh. Yeah, it, it's such a good weapon if you've got a great guillotine. Your ability to use that in lieu of some defensive wrestling is, is, is significant. And McCon has got to be thinking about the threat every time he does it. He's got to be wary of the head placement. Cannot leave it on the outside of the body. You see here he's keeping it firmly glued on the inside. McGuire just wearing on his man here. He does not want to get into those exchanges in the open with Akpan. Nice elbows there. Good base again from Akpan, managing to engage the hips in mid-air. Again here, just using the, the fence for a little bit of base. And, oh, it's an interesting armbar opportunity here. It's Maguire that comes out on top, though. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, that was a dangerous moment for Maguire. He did a good job of squaring his hips up at the end of, of all of that. And he's earned the takedown. Let's see if he can progress position now for the, the, the first time in this fight. Maguire right in front of his own corner team here, taking advice from the coaching staff. Yeah, this is tough again because, you know, he, he's gone back up against the cage here, which is where we saw Akpan is able to stand back up from with, you know, a bit more ease than he would be in the middle of the canvas. But at the same time, Akpan hasn't actually showed too much attacking-wise off his back. He was content to kind of slow the pace down at the end of the third. I think he's got it. He's got to attack here. Perhaps waiting for the referee to split the action here. We've not seen a whole lot from 
Jack Maguire from top position. He's not going to be allowed to keep this for minutes and minutes, surely. Yeah, no, you're right. There's, there's no striking. There's no breaking of the guard moving forward, and that's allowed Akpan to build back up here. Again, Maguire just trying to wrestle to the hips. Akpan with the elbows to the side of the head from bottom position, but just really difficult to get any kind of power behind the shots from that sort of angle. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but, uh, you know, Maguire needs to be throwing some shots in here and there in all of these scrambles, all of these pressure positions up against the cage. You know, he's the one who's got the, the better of the position, but he's never throwing the strikes in. Akpan able to get off the cage and lands a nice elbow there. Akpan looking to pounce here and he's caught. Maguire, big knee to the body from Akpan and another oh, to the head. That's a good sequence for him doing a lot of damage. Body lock of his own over both arms here. Again, though, you see how instantly there's a bit of a lull in the action. And I honestly think if Akpan had really tried to put the bend in the spine quicker there, might have uh, bore more fruit for him. Looks for the takedown, Akpan again, able to prevent it with that balance and that strong base. Again, looking to find a way out, big elbows from Akpan. Yeah, you know, this is the problem that Maguire is going to face, is, is earning the takedown and just sitting in guard for 30 seconds to a minute. You know, how does that weigh up significant impact-wise versus the, those big knees and flurry from Akpan? Looking for the takedown here, he's picked his man up and dumped him to the mat, the crowd love it, will the judges, we'll have to wait and see. It's a good work rate from Maguire, you've got to say, he's, he's getting stuck in there and he's keeping the cardio going, constantly, you know, working to get the takedown, just what can he do next? If you're Akpan, you've got to post on that head and get up quick here. Akpan just trying to power his way out from underneath Jack Maguire here, not going to work. And Maguire's going to have this top position until the final bell, you think. And the corner of, of Maguire, seeming like they want more from the man here, Josh. Yeah, I really would have liked to see some ground and pound. It's the one thing he hasn't actually done at any point in this bout. It's going to go to the judges' scorecards, and honestly, it's a little tighter than, than either of these guys would have liked. Akpan raises his hands. I can't imagine he'll be a popular man if it does go his way, Josh. Here in court. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I think we might see a split decision. I think we might see, we, you know, I could easily see Maguire taking two out of those three rounds, but look at that flurry. They were the only real significant strikes of, of that whole round, you know, and then the cyclins with the knees. I mean, arguably, did he do more impact in those rounds than Maguire was able to do with the takedowns? Hackman jumping to that. It looked like he was perhaps going for the arm there from the back. You know, he had some entries he definitely could have used, but these knees were, were good work from him. Incredible power generated in close there from Akpan. Two to the body, one to the head. And a nice elbow from within the clinch there. More big shots from the SBG Manchester fighter. And it'll come down to how the judges saw a lot of these exchanges. Well, we have the scorecards in. The fight has been brought to the centre of the cage, and we will throw it to our MC, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges have scored this bout 13-27, 13-27, 29-28, in favour of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the blue corner, Manny Black Death Akpan. Manny the Black Death Akpan on his professional debut here tonight upsets the hometown crowd with a big win. 1-0 is the young man from SPG Manchester and that was a close, hard-fought contest, Josh. It, it really was and it was a lack of progression. In